And as always, we're going to be looking for accurate context, good risk management, and always exercising good patience. Everybody who's traded has gone through periods of time where their strategy hasn't worked. Where if not a hard stop, you should reevaluate the trades you're in uh, based on time. That's what we're here for, is to put ourselves in the best success. A trading routine does that, builds that habit, lets you know what to work on, what to reflect on, and what to improve on the next day. Hey, we didn't forget about you on YouTube. Sorry, I, I must have missed the button or something. Uh, and it is time to see uh, as the market turns. Uh, we got Powell speaking at 9 o'clock. Probably a lot of hurry up and wait today, but we will see. Glad everybody on YouTube is finally with us. Sorry about that again. So let's take a look. This is me. I've got a little bit of experience in trading futures. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't make me an expert. Um, I still learn from these markets every day. And I did trade on the floor of the Mercantile Exchange for 20 years. Migrated to screen trading in 2009. Been helping develop traders here at Top Step since 2011. And there's always more to learn. I would never claim to, th to say I know everything. As a matter of fact, there are so many people out there, probably some in this room, that know more than I do. But we're going to take a look at what we've got as far as these opportunities concerned. This is the CFTC disclaimer. Is is, this is the CFTC disclaimer. We're not, uh, we're not suggesting that anybody purchase or sell the, 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 the things that we're doing today. At least I'm not. You guys are coming up with the ideas, and we're going to see if we can't make me a little bit of money. But this is, remember, for educational purposes only. There's a lot of risk in futures. We do run the risk of losing more than our initial investment. We should only be using risk capital to trade with, which to me is money that I can afford to lose. Top Step will put up the risk capital for you upon succession of the trading combine, <clears throat> uh, there's no expectation for performance past or future in make hope money, of course. Uh, and we are n never guaranteeing any, any future performance or success. The rules for make hope money, kindness and respect above everything. Five people will, well, I'm going to have a couple of people unable to talk if you're interested. Um, all will be involved in the decision making. And of course, the context of your trade ideas is helpful. We're going to use the chat rooms on YouTube and Zoom to discuss trades. Of course, uh, only those in Zoom will have the opportunity to vote for trades. We are going to be focusing on the MES for opportunities for now. We're not going to trade just a trade. We're not taking losing trades, which is, of course, a joke because we all know that, uh, that uh, there are losses in trading. We have to accept them. We have to cut them. We have to move on. And any feedback you have about make hope money is vital and appreciated. You can always send that feedback to me at jhoagland at topstep.com, J-H-O-A-G-L-A-N-D at topstep.com. Well, let's get ready to wait. <laughs> Uh, perhaps here's our platform. Who wants to speak? I've got Rick Randolph promoting. We've got anybody else. Uh, we've got Greg who wants to talk promoting. Where is our guy? Matt Hoyt. Wolf. What's up? Hey, Mortimer. How are you? Okay. How are you? Still a bachelor. Another yeah, week. another week. Hey, it's you. You're the one that needs the uh, the battery in your... Uh, or maybe it's Greg. I don't know. Somebody no, needs... you know what? I'll have to... I'm the, I'm the spring chicken, so I got the batteries. You got the bat. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, but... um. I'll be more support, wait for the gang to come in, and see what we get. All right. All right, thank you. Uh, I did not get get Lacey out. I didn't have time. She's going to have to wait a 
about another 50 minutes and hopefully she'll be a good girl and she's resting peacefully now so <laughs> she's uh she was doing a lot of dawdling this morning what are we doing this morning here guys quick question uh, as a whole oh we we have we have power speaking at 10 does that throw a monkey wrench in our preparation right now well i i believe it i believe it does yeah i mean there's there's anything that can happen um you know, it's at, it, it, he's speaking in about a half an hour here. It's 9 Central, 10 Eastern. And I'm pretty sure that his initial speech will be released all at once. So you're going to get a, a, a illiquid period of time when the market's likely to do a lot of knee-jerking. So, you know. And, and the metals are all looking for something that's hawkish. Yeah, yeah, and dollar, dollar's been rallying since about one thirty, and the gold and silver are both down. So that tells me that uh, they're expecting something hawkish. Got it. So what's that mean for the S and P's? I'm 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 still selling rallies, but I I would not take an opening range trade unless it's. Uh, you know, that 4060 is huge. So unless it gets up near there, where's VWAP on there? 40 is 57. Yeah. So I I would I would take a short hit there and then if it breaks through 4060, get out. And then if it holds it, maybe maybe think about taking a long, but I'm just there. That's just 40, my humble 60. opinion. 4060. Um, yep. Yeah, I have a I have a key level at um at 40, what's this? Weekly profile high level at 40, 49.75. Well, it looks like it's going to break that level now, but I, I feel like um, there she goes. That's yeah. a level to watch. We have the low, the low from yesterday at 40, 41.75. That's a that's an eleven point range to 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 find a buy. You're looking at the the the, the overnight low uh, from yesterday, right? No, I believe that's the low from the, the high and the low from um from mm -hmm. yesterday. Regular trading hour session. Correct. Correct. No, the whole day from six to from the low the low from the whole day from right. six to um right. six to four. Right. Right here. Mm-hmm. So 40, 41, 75, and then I have a weekly profile high level at 40, 49, oh. 75. That might be it's my smoke detector. I think it is. It's, it's a little, little tricky, Mr. Hall. That, that's why I said I'm going to be support, you know? Mm -hmm. See what I can add to the flavor. No, no, that's good. That's good. We appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So it's a five-minute chart, John? This is a 30-minute chart. You want the five? Here yeah. it is. I mean, it tried tremendously to get above that 4060 area and just, you know, range wise, I'm not specifically saying that's the number. Right. And it just fail, 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 fail. Fail. Once, once it broke through it, because if, if you go more to the left, it ended, it was a support level and then it ended up being resistance. So, so I'm, I'm looking at it from the market market profile, right? Mm -hmm. If you go to Friday's profile, you have a POC of forty forty six seventy five. So, with with these levels hold us anywhere? Remember that bear flag you drew? Yeah. That's a, that's in confluence with that bear flag. So, if you bring up your profile charts and you look at the bear flag, they should intersect. So here's a, here's a here's a difference, Greg. Okay. This profile ends at three p.m. Central. All right. So it, I mean, don't I don't add the extra time after the cash close to this. So that okay. makes that makes the point of control on this this profile all the way down here. The volume point of control is down here, as well as the TPO point of control because this is the widest the widest line. All right. So this is. Uh, uh, you know, depending on the time frame of your of your profiles, mm -hmm. you know this 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 high volume node down here that you just mentioned is it is it is it is it real or is it Memorex? 
Okay. Because my, my time is from um, 9.30 to, to, um, to 4. 9.30. Okay, so that's regular trading hours. Correct, correct, correct. Yes, sir. And you're seeing the, the point of control up here? Yes. All right, let's go to the... The writ of common wisdom here. So this pro this profile here has forty. I need my glasses. Forty, forty five, seventy five. So there's that point of control here. 40, 49, 75. Is that, was that where you see yours? Yeah, yeah. Mine's was 40, 50, 75. So we be 50 cents apart. 40, 50, 75. Okay. Mm -hmm. So at least we're, at least we're in the neighborhood. Yeah, we next door to each other. <laughs> right? Right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, so we get a little bit of a display error probably here on this. Because that's this is what's telling us the point of control here. It's up here. All right. A uh, couple of levels from Friday's uh, profile. Dalton talks about this. It's the afternoon pullback low down here at forty thirty four. I'm liking that level, but I'm not going to do anything if it reaches it right after Powell's speech. <clears throat> right now we've got right 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 and then on the charts it's a continuation pattern that broke out okay so we're looking to see if we if we think this market is going to continue to push higher we're looking to see this level hold this this afternoon pullback low from from friday where i think we may see some continuation is the fact that we have this poor high here, 4090. We have another poor high up here, 4145. So it was the rejection of price below the February low that created, I believe, much of this upward move that we're currently in. Here's the daily, if I can find it. So it was this rejection here from from the February low that created this push. The, the structure in this is still good to the upside. A lot of excess on this profile yesterday. But can I interject real quick? Of and course. With that rejection, with that, with that rejection, we can say that we made a, um, a higher low in respect to the overall trend. Of course, yep. Right. Okay. Yeah, we've got a higher low, we've got a higher low, and we still have a higher low today. Higher high, higher mm -hmm. high, higher high. So we're still structurally bullish, but man, this speech is a monkey wrench for real. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be. It's gonna be fun to watch. Uh, definitely, definitely. So, you know, we got last week's high magnetic right now. That's right where we're at. So I don't really want to do anything here. I agree. That that that's why that's why I brought up the POC to see like you know prep the levels to see where we can have a, a strategy. Instead of, you know, waste, not saying wasting time, but, you know, at least use the time wisely. That's why I brought up the POC. It's kind of doing a look back. Oh, Jason, the, the white chart, this was, this was T4. Just a different platform. Unfortunately, for people in the trading combine, we can't administer the market profile, but I have it because I'm going to count there. So no opening range trade. Both sides of the opening range here, this gold, gold line here, that's the first minute. It's traded both sides. I didn't even think about asking to see if we wanted to do the opening range trade today. It just it seemed ridiculous. Yeah, Ben, sometimes the best trades fly in the face of the most recent market activity. And if we wait for structure, 
It costs us in trade location. Here's that five minute chart again for Rick. Yeah. So there's that five minute. Second standard deviation of VWAP is where the market has kind of turned on this five minute chart. You know, I'm, I, I can, I seem to consistently have this, I, this desire to take trades early here and make hope money for entertainment reasons. But I'm reminded by our good friend, uh, Fred Decker, we can't just do that. We got to find decent opportunities. We got to find good opportunities and it's going to be hard. I think for us to find anything prior to this speech here in 20 minutes, 20 minutes. Uh, we have a nice conversation with each other. Twenty minutes old, guys. Ben is saying you you want to the opening five minute channel. Uh, so you're looking to buy it at fifty two, Ben. Or even lower than that, fifty one. Good morning, Vince. You know that. Smoke alarms me, but I can't tell where it's coming from. So it's it seems impossible to find those sometimes, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it sounds like it's coming from the kitchen lamp and your Mary, but I don't have one in there. So, well, I think they do that on purpose. Yeah. Do you have an Alexa? No, Google. Oh, I think Alexa listens in. <clears throat> I get. Uh, I have this this theory that Alexa tries to make people go crazy by doing that to them. <laughs> Just to get you back, huh? Yeah. Well, you said you don't have one in your de in your living room or your family room, but yeah. that seems to be where it's coming from. That's what it sounds like. It's a I, I it's a it. it's Alexa. Yeah. Hey, uh, JT, uh, one of these days, I thought it was my fire alarm, Matt. Matt Hoyt's in YouTube. <clears throat> JT, why don't you join us one of these days on the, in, the, uh, in the Zoom meeting and we, you can talk. It's, it's easier to hear somebody kind of talk about all of this in these levels if you're, if you're in the room. Matt, you want to come in? Here's the link. JT, you want to come in? There's the link. So JT says, I like small risk at 30, 40, 37, 75 to 34. That's, yeah, that's, that's an area that I'm looking at. Short at forty seventy four, <clears throat> all the way up here, up near that that point of control from yesterday. With a pretty small stop there. Hmm. I get the feeling we're just going to be probably chatting and listening to. Uh, the fire alarm till till about nine o'clock. Agreed. Jesus. <laughs> Doesn't that drive your dogs crazy? No, you know. Coconut no. coconut used to go absolutely ape crazy when that happened. And um, our dog Missy would be deathly afraid of it. And Lacey just she didn't even notice. <laughs> Shaw's dogs are hiding right now. <laughs> well, her dogs are okay, but Scrabby can't hear her. But she's got me trained. She keeps going out because she gets a treat when she comes in. So oh, of course. Out, and then she'll go out again and come in and like, where's my treat? Yeah. Well, come in, where's my treat? Oh, yeah, they're good at that. That's what I'm at. I'm her treat, bitch. 
19 and a half, so I got That's just unbelievable. 19 years old. Almost 20 years old. She stole mobile and she can kind of see and kind of hear. She's like 114 years old. Yeah, I, I can only wish you know, I, I could be that healthy, you know, at that age. That's just. Like Grandma Kate. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was water. <laughs> <laughs> Which she, 101 she made it to? Yeah. yeah, yeah. She, was, she was born in 1899 and I, and I think passed in 2001. Yeah. She made it a whole century. Think of the changes she, she saw. She lived in three different centuries. Yeah, yeah. Imagine what she saw. Yeah, the, the changes, just absolutely crazy. She was so funny. There were a lot of people talking. Her hearing aids didn't work very well, so she would just shut them off. Nothing that anybody had to say was that important. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't know you. <clears throat> I didn't know you had. Uh, was it a high school picture, of Dad? Yeah, that was from a yearbook. No kidding. <clears throat> he was a handsome dude. Yeah. Too bad we didn't look like him. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think you did. No. If anybody did, Judy did. This is where discipline comes in, guys. So eager to jump. I know. It's not giving us a bounce to sell, though. I don't know. But like you say, it's the whole practice of patience. Yeah. Yeah. If, uh, it sucks if, to keep those words. Well, we got yesterday's low to the tick here. That's not very. That's not very strong. Watch Paul come out and say something dovish and. Pow. Yeah. Like your dad used to say, you can never have too much on. Fred's dad turned 100 on Saturday. You still have him. He's still with you, Fred. That's amazing. Yeah. He remembers when Delano, Franklin Delano Roosevelt said, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. Tell him happy birthday. <coughs> happy birthday. Wow. Big, big full moon this morning, too. Did you see that? Yeah. The worm moon or something? I don't know. I'm gonna freaking shoot that thing. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot them all. <laughs> ben, so what hasn't happened? Uh, the market likes that level. That's the day's low. I mean, we haven't we haven't taken out yesterday's low. Yeah, we just bottomed out there. You know, Shaw, I agree, but stuff can slip out. You never know who's talking to who, you know, in the background. I'm sure I'm sure Pelosi's getting her positions on. Huh. Pardon it. I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I think they got they got a law coming out, then they got the state that they have to say what they're selling beforehand. Yeah. I call it a female version of Elon because people used to follow her moves. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yeah, her husband's trained today. And she has no idea what he's doing. All right. Well, we are 
getting ready. <clears throat> I'm going to be. Buy some, I did buy some metals, ETFs. You did? Yeah. Longs? We're, we're, yeah. We're, uh, well, that's what buy means, right? <laughs> Mortimer? Well, yeah, but you can buy short ETFs. Well, I'll sell short. Touche. Touche. <laughs> I, sell, I would call that sell short, not a buy. But there's a ton of uh, around 1602 down to, you know, in that area on my ETF, which is uh, Barrick Gold. So I bought some at 05, and then we'll see. I put a stop down underneath mm -hmm. at around 75, so I'll give it 30 cents. And I did some silver around uh, 19, and then you got the same thing. You got a chunk of support down there. Pivot support one month low, thirteen week low, and a bunch of RSIs. It's so, all. We'll see. M Mr. Ho, we just broke the woman in opening range, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We we we've been on both sides of it already. Okay. You gonna try a VWAP? Fifty-five. Um. Ben's looking for fifty six ish. Let's let's uh, let's let's vote. Are we gonna look for a short up at VWAP here. Yeah, fifty five, fifty six. We got about ten minutes till uh, the talking Fed. Chairman Pow, oh. <laughs> we we waited ten minutes. We could wait ten more. That's true. So, I'm going to go nay on this one, y'all. Got to just have a little more patience. Well, it's not letting me vote. Oh, Maybe yeah. Me neither. Maybe it's a sign. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the results. I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys vote. Mortimer's blocked us. Uh, Matt Hoyt, I did, I think, allow you to become... A panelist. Trying. I thought you said panelists can could vote. Now you took that out of there, huh? No, I can do it. Stop sharing. Allow oh, panelists to participate. Now you'll be able to on the next one. Hoyt. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. What's happening? I'm uh, just trying to wait patiently for any action on it. Just fill out the weeds, wait in the weeds, see my scope, see if I can get some kind of, you know, laser strike entry. We'll see what happens. You see, everybody else is telling me to stay patient, and I'm really edgy. <laughs> Why? I don't mind taking a, you know, a position, strategic position, and then just have a pretty close stop. Because it could either really work for you, or, you know, if, as long as you limit your loss, you could have a pretty good risk-reward. <laughs> Nastic says no. Isn't Powell speaking tomorrow also? Yeah, he's in Senate today <clears throat> and the House tomorrow. So does he, does he typically say the same thing or no? He will probably have the same speech. They'll probably release it right at 9 o'clock so everybody will read it. And then he'll, he'll say the speech and then the question and answer session will begin. Uh -huh. Because we all know that our Senate and our House of Representatives are filled with the best and the brightest of us. So they're going to have some really important, good questions for Chairman Powell. Right. And I'll be like, oh, so when you say hawkish, do you mean like chicken hawk? Or are you talking like, you know, military I, hawk? I'm a I chicken say, hawk. I say, I say boy. And you're a chicken. Uh, <laughs> What kind of hawk is that? A hawk is a, is, is a higher rate. Yeah. In other words, they're going to be uh, continuing with the hikes. I think he's going to say the same old thing. It's just, the song remains the same. We'll do what the data tells us to do. And yeah. So far, we, all, we all feel the data seems like inflation's sticking around and they're going to keep going. I think. I mean, that's what I see. Well, yeah, I think goods prices are still, you know, having issues, but service is uh, supposedly slowing down so we'll see hmm. what do you guys what do you guys feel about inflation i mean you feel like it's going to be 
Higher or lower one? Well, I'm just hoping that we don't fall into recession. I said the oh, word. I said the word. I think if they word. keep hiking it, you, you know, you could have a really sad end of the year in 2024. So I got to be really I, careful. I got a really good picture of Chairman Powell here. Here it is. <laughs> That's not the chicken hawk. I'll see. I'll That's see. Anymore. You're doing it all wrong, son. <laughs> <laughs> uh, foghorn leghorn, right? Yep. You know, foghorn leghorn. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good imitation, though. Yeah, he's, he can do that. I mean, I'll tell you what, John can pull stuff out of from Second City and movies that you, you know, certain lines that, you know, you just bust the gut. <laughs> it could have been your second uh, here, John. Here's the chicken hawk. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's got him by the gaggle. <laughs> uh, brings back memories, man. <laughs> uh, uh, here we are. I'm going to hear that thing in my sleep tonight, Rick. Give me, give me a second. <laughs> if you're walking away, send, send, mute. Send us some batteries, Mr. Hogue. I'm muting him. I have muted Randolph. That's not the first. I get to do that. <laughs> Only you can. So 66% of us like the idea of a short up at VWAP, 56. Talking, mm -hmm. Darren is talking about that now, 55 quarter. So let's go 55 uh, quarter and what's our stop? We were talking about eight point, uh, three points, tight stop, 56, 57, 58. Let's go a the, the, yellow, the yellow line is VWAP, Mr. Holmes? Yes, sir. And then the two standard deviations, one is purple and two is blue? Yes. All right. Yep, you got it. Michael saying it's a low confidence market, no advantage yet. I think we should be flat at nine. I'm inclined to agree with that, Mister uh, Mister Decker. No pre-release of Powell's statement. Uh oh. Um. One yeah. thing I learned a lot during this combine is that. You can really see and feel when the market is flat due to waiting for information. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a good sense to have. Oh, yeah. Because remember, remember when we had the fair, when we, the, when we had the weekly lows, and uh -huh. then we got that information we needed, and the market just took off? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. <laughs> and that's uh, the hard part of that is when the market takes off like that, it does it, it does its best to try and keep you from getting in. It was very clever because they shot off right when one of the Fed speakers was talking. Yeah, that was that was last Friday, right? Yes, sir. I didn't even see him on the schedule when he started talking. I couldn't even find the link. So I don't even know what he said. Oh, boy. Three more minutes. Mm-hmm. Here we are. Touch, touch, boom, boom. I mean, Goldman, okay, he's getting ready to speak. And Goldman says the likelihood of a soft landing is meaningfully higher. 
JT with a good point here. Recessions don't happen in an inflationary environment. They happen in a deflationary environment. Fireworks show in two minutes. <clears throat> he knew he is, gentlemen. <laughs> so, I'm going to be watching the dome here. See how thin it gets in the S&Ps. The dome is a TPO, right? The uh, dome is this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But this is when this one's on micros. This is on the minis. So that's what they call them down. All right. Yep. Um, depth of market. Depth of market. Oh, okay. Hey, depth of market. There you go. <laughs> <clears throat> Luke. Will the U.S. stay as the world reserve currency? Good question. Okay, we're starting to get, we're starting to thin out here. Are we leaving our orders in? Any seconds. Because we're set to sell us short at 40.55 with a, 55, 55 quarter with a 58.75 stop. We get hit in the same second. Look how thin it's getting. Where are you yeah, selling it? We didn't yet. We're working to sell it at VWAP. Do we want to keep it on? You going to put a hold out? All right, here we go. There you go. Uh -huh. ah. Wholesale inventories. Uh, higher than expected. Month over month in January. Inflation. Wholesale inventories are higher? Yeah. It's a low impact number, but still. Wholesale inventories came out as expected, minus 0.4%. Wholesale trade sales was higher. They were looking for 0.3% lower. It came out 1% higher. There's a jump for you. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull these orders. Okay, now we're down to the to, to that um, uh, pullback low. That 40, wow. 40, 33 level, and we've just danced right through it. So the dollar spiked it's up about one hundred four ninety now. Uh, Damn! I wish you could have sold it. <clears throat> Yeah, it would have been nice, gentlemen. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, right? What if he was wrong? So, <laughs> so you lose a few ticks. <laughs> so I said about risk reward, you know, selling against that EWAP was with a tight stop. <clears throat> Twenty six fifty is the low here. This was a level I put out yesterday on the on the uh, the market prep. This was the afternoon pullback low. This was a very gentle, small little swing, swing low here. Yeah. Let's see if we can build some sort of structure in that area. And because as Ben has reminded us, C 
Caesar got the move. Nice job. Nice, Caesar. Ben reminded us. Uh, best trade locations often happen in opposite the most recent market activity. Not ready to buy it here, but this is an interesting spot. You know what? I am. And I'm going to put a stop in at 22. What did you do? Buy it, Donner? Yep. Call me crazy. Just don't call you late for dinner, right? Remember that one, John? Yep. Now my you dome's frozen. Call me crazy. Just don't call me late for dinner. Now my dome's great. My, do my platform's frozen. This is ridiculous. So this move has nothing to do with Powell talking. Or does it? Uh, well, here's, his, here's what he's saying. Restoring price stability will almost certainly necessitate, necessitate us Maintaining a restrictive policy stands for some time. Fed policy r rate futures price is a greater likelihood of half a point rate hike in March. That's the futures price is what that's saying. Okay. U.S. short-term interest rates drop after Fed chair Powell says rates may need to go higher and faster. Hawkish. Okay. Go. Oh. <laughs> Now, now I'm looking for a pullback to sell. This is ridiculous because this this platform probably, is completely frozen now. They'll probably say the opposite to the house tomorrow. Just to just to up a bit. <laughs> just to mess with us. My platform crashed as well. No, it's on again. <clears throat> so we got chicken hawked. I suppose we did. That's what we expected. Oh my God, this platform. Everything disappeared. It's messing with you, John. Everything disappeared. This is ridiculous. This shouldn't happen. Get the dark port out. Never seen this. I hear about it. I know people have this issue, but I've never seen it myself, and now here it is. Nice, Shaw. There, it's coming back. They closed all the bedroom doors, so I... Huh. Well, I had you... Uh, I know. I had you muted. I saw that. And I uh, heard it anyway. I think maybe it might be Greg. No, no, no. No? I'm here. Mm-mm. So Caesar is saying if you if you if you you go to the web based version of Trade of Eight, he doesn't get a he doesn't get a freeze. You're out. Yep. Figured it was no no really. Figured it was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to step in front of this. Uh, Sam's on the web version, and he's still freezing. So futures, uh, Fed fund futures are pricing in a half point rate hike for March. Right. 
runaway freight train on these rate hikes. Well, we've got two weeks before the FOMC meeting. That's next week, right? Week after next. Exactly. Yeah, we've got the beige book, which comes out PMI. tomorrow. Isn't PMI what? Isn't PMI next week? I don't know. Or CPI on Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. <clears throat> That'll be huge. Beige book comes out tomorrow. That means two weeks till the... Uh, and then retail sales on Wednesday and mm -hmm. core PPI. So Tuesday, Wednesday, next week are going to be uh, fastener seatbelts. Yeah, the uh, uh, J-Man, uh, uh, Fed Fund Futures just priced in a 50-point rate hike in two weeks. It's a reaction. Who knows? Yeah, everyone's jumping on board now. Oh, now I'm pricing in 50. Right. <laughs> Okay, great call. Yeah. Well, looking for some kind of pullback, which I might not get. Yeah, it's doing a pretty good job of keeping everybody out of getting short here. Well, there's always a pullback. It's just a matter of when. Well, and I'm looking for low-volume nodes to trade against. New cinnamon ship. Is a chirp stopped? How about that? <laughs> Look, it's down around four thousand. That's that's a uh, old lows on a psychological level. Mm. It's where it, it's where it found support after yep. after leaving the um, February low. You guys think we're gonna fill that low in down to February second? I mean, that's kind of like the visual place to go, right? I think everybody's thinking that, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, not that it's going to happen today, but who knows, within the next couple of days, why not? Hmm. DXY got all the way up to like 105. All the 520 area, yeah. 17, 19, yeah. Oh, come on, stop me out. Mm. You short? No, the ETFs are hammering them. Awesome. See if it bounces. I'm frozen again here. This is ridiculous. We pick and bottom, Mr. Hogue. Got my order. The frozen again? Yeah. <laughs> ben, yeah, if you wanna do you wanna come in and chat for sure. Good morning. Good morning, Ben. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Oh, pretty good. A little bummed out. I was, um, I went to get a coffee and I, I put a, a trade idea in there. I think I typoed, messed it up about shorting a poor low, like at nine. If we got it, did you happen yeah. to see that? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. It's no, that's okay. trying, trying to manage all this, right? 
Yeah, but um, you know, who knows? It may rocket the rest of the day. It may just tank, you know. And it's always a question: of How do we get on board, you know? And um, this is just a, a trade idea that I could share that I I put in there. Um, Let's see. It, it works in certain times, you know. Let's see it. So, all right, hang on a minute. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. That poor low against yesterday's low. Um, yes. Yeah. Hang on. Okay. I don't know if you got my PPO chart. Gotcha. Okay. So let me make it bigger here. So right here is yesterday's low. Okay. I can collapse the overnight profile here. So we had come down here, you know, and, and um, messed around. And we made a, a poor low pretty much. A low the right there. Range. Yep. Well, th this this pink bar is a three-minute opening range, so it's not exactly the same. So um, I was watching on my phone. But anyway, you know, we, we were around here for a long time. And um, I was hoping it would get back up to 56, which would be the – it was at the VWAP at the time and the overnight value was mm -hmm, low. That mm -hmm. was the target for a long I had. <clears> but, you know, we were getting close to nine. Now, this trade works great when you've got a new contract and you're in white space, meaning this contract is not traded in that area before, mm -hmm. uh, especially in, in uh, some of the faster markets. But the ES now sort of qualifies for this. However, we were coming into news. We already had uh, kind of a weak, weak slash poor low down here. When we opened up in B, we were going to make a poor low if we came down here in B period. Right? Then why is that a poor low? Tell them. It's poor low because... It's an unfinished auction in general. It's um, the, the TPO is within one tick of the prior TPO. That's how you identify it. Mm -hmm. I prefer it to be equal or, or one tick below. If it's one tick above it, or okay, and the short side, if it's one tick, let's put these out. If it's one tick below it, or if on the long side, you're one tick above it, that's a breakout of the prior bar. And if mm -hmm. it doesn't go, it failed, right? So it may leave that you know one, two, like real close proximity and you could call it a poor low or poor high, but in my opinion, they're not as good, right? They're not as likely to come back through. However, if we came down here this early in the TPO, and we even had an open drive, my, the idea was to be ready to do a breakout of the, of the poor low, meaning just put a stop entry right here. Because if we came down on that news, it's likely going to be with force. It's not going to be like a TPO poor low or poor high that develops at like, a, you know, like a, uh, 10 15 or 10 20 a.m and you know came up and touched it backed away you know are we going to come back through it right this was going to be early on it was going to be decisive in all likelihood either that or you're going to get stopped out so maybe you risk the open you mm -hmm. know i mean you mm -hmm. could get whipped out for sure, but sure. it's a must take trade in my opinion and um it would have been worth let's see here again right here from that tick one tick that's all you need even if you took it just down to where it goes off the screen, that's nine hundred seventy-five dollars on a one line, mm -hmm. or ninety-seven fifty on a on a um, mm -hmm. micro. You know, so that's the trade idea. But again, ask context is everything. This wouldn't necessarily be a great trade because you're going to trade into all this congestion. Um, you know, there's a low volume node here and everything. And mm -hmm. Like it was just normally ten o'clock. It's like okay, just ready to stop into it. Might work, but it doesn't have the same force behind it as you know, that volatility and maybe some other money moving in at, at when Powell speaks. Anyway, but that's that's the, now the idea now, let's say we expect it to trend on, this is another thing that, this is a personally developed secret trade, <laughs> I'll say. Um, you can test it out for yourself. I don't mind, mind sharing it at all because I don't, I don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. But um, this yellow line is the midpoint. Like that's the, on a single TPO, that's going to be your seat. Okay. Yeah. So if you um, you'll find on trend days, um, even normal variation days, where the uh, the range extensions to one side, roughly eighty five to one hundred percent of the initial balance, you might get some one time framing, but you'll start to see it early on in the ten minute bars. All right. So you can you can say I'm not sure that we'll get all the way back up here, but let's say we want we expect it to continue down. So we'd want to maybe start looking to short these midpoints. Now, if I could find, let's see, Friday was a day that we trucked on up, right? Um, actually, this here's a this is a full profile 10-minute TPO chart I use. 
So this was Friday. Oh, this isn't going to have the midpoints, though. But you're going to kind of see, yeah, this isn't going to have the midpoints. Um, hang on a minute. Again, let me, um, let me just do this real quick, and then I'll turn it back over. Now, I'm not patient enough generally to wait for, um, wait for this, you know? And I'm trying to get back in the habit of being here more of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. 930. Okay, so this is Friday. We really starting to take off after C period. See how it came like almost a half back? And this goes to the concept. See how there's like hardly any volume right here, this low volume? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it came down here. Now, if you'd have put a, an entry right here, you wouldn't have gotten filled, right? So it's, but you might risk the low, you know? I mean, it's... um. It's kind of a tricky thing because sometimes you'll get it right on the mark. Other times it'll be, um, you know, a few ticks above it, you know? Yeah, well, everything's a, everything's a zone in futures, right? Yes. So here we go. You know, it hit this, hit it on the halfway mark. This kind of, kind of balanced for a little bit. You know, it takes a lot of time. And this is a long, this is an all-day type of a strategy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, here in this, like here, you probably thought, well, I'm going to get out because it's not going anywhere. You know, like my entry's right here. I'm taking heat for 30 minutes. Well, then it keeps going. And, you know, um, and it, notice how basically open right on the half, halfway mark, and that sort of holds. So I'll just scroll slowly through. Um, you see, again, came to the halfway mark. Here, you know, again, you stalled out, came to the halfway mark. You know, again, this is just something to observe yourself and for looking to how to get on board. Um, now, here's where they may know that's what people are doing. They flush you out and they take you <laughs> down here and then go. You know, mm -hmm. but you know, again, here's halfway mark. Here's a halfway mark, and it you know continues. So this is um this is this is uh I don't know what I call it, but this is sort of my my trend strategy that I seldom use, but it works. A quick quick question: that purple line is what? This is going to be your volume point of control. For example, right here at forty nine seventy five is on Friday. Okay. You can see there's almost ninety five hundred, mm -hmm. eighty eight hundred on that. And again, this is in 10 minutes, the overall TBLC. Or, One you know, more thing. The, the 9466 is the, I'm assuming, the buy, and that's the sell. Okay, this, What's those two numbers? you got to look at this diagonally, okay? So so this is, when when people were hitting the bid here, they were lifting the offer right here, okay? So it was going diagonal. So at 4050, <laughs> and you would expect this, people were selling. They were hitting market. I want to get in right at 4050, you know? So, so there, now this is end period. It's later in the day. This is like the market on close moment. This is 10 or 350 Eastern time. So I don't know what was going on, how it was being entered, but that's diagonal. And um, they're lifting the offer on this price and hitting the bid on this price. And it's that way all the way back and forth, all the way up and down. It's just like a, a dome. Or a, um, yeah, just a print chart. It yeah. tells you at each price what the so, delta so, was. So, so this is the TPO on a ten-minute chart. Yeah, for each individual bar. Okay, that's right. So there's three bar, three, three. Well, there's a lot of information in there. It's not something you're going to be able to make that chart and likely be able to do much with it for quite a while. You know, you're going to take to, time. It's a learning curve. Yeah. So I'd stick with the main one for now, but then you can extrapolate those ideas. But this was the main thing right here. So we had a. We had a um, poor low with Friday. Mm -hmm. Then we made a poor low in B period. And now you've got an exponential poor low. And you've got news like within 30 seconds behind it. And you've got the, the value in the overnight was overlapping to lower already. Didn't do much. You know, it was just hesitating and waiting. So what didn't happen? You know, we didn't take back. We did, it didn't move higher through the overnight. You know, basically just waiting on um, this morning. And um, we also have this structure from Friday. I'm sorry, this is Friday. This was uh, yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. Um, so we have all this structure from Friday. Look at this. Well, you've got like places people are going to put their stops behind these swing lows mm -hmm. right here, you know, mm -hmm. in the overnight. And um, you had this overnight low that hadn't been taken out yet. You've got all these single prints um, for potential long liquidation if the news goes counter to what it has been. You know, if there's been a market change or at least people something that gives people a reason to hide taking profits or whatever they they're up to the white shoe boys i guess 
So anyway, that was it. that was the whole thing I wanted to share. All right, thank you, Ben. Thank you. So we are, I've been knocked out of, of, of trade of ATS trader here. I'm not really happy about, uh, this service at this time. And, uh, I apologize. Not much I can do about it, but I will be, uh, giving trade of eight, a, uh, stern talking to, I don't know what, what good that's going to do, but <laughs> grumblings. Yeah. Well, we gotta, we gotta get that straightened out. Cause that just sucks. So by the way, um, real quick, even though you don't have the charts up, we are um, that halfway mark of that initial 10 minute move down um, is at 32.75. And we're right now, we got up to 31.75. So yeah. um, I don't mm -hmm. know if it's gonna reverse and continue lower or we're just gonna rotate around here, but it did make it back to that halfway mark of that huge bar. Show this home, is don't have the spectacles. He's blind. This is goofy. But it's not necessarily one. I I just okay. Well, I like that concept, so I'm just going to short every halfway mark. This you is, know, this is whacked. My apologies, everyone. Um, yeah, it is whacked, Mr. Hall. Yeah, I got to run anyway, so. Uh, it is what it is. Yep, trade well today. Again, you know, there's always a, always a learning lesson, even when the markets are, uh, even when the platform's not working very well, right? Thank you, Mr. Ho, for allowing me to speak. I'll see you soon, my friend. Talk to you guys later. Thank you all very Thanks, much. Everybody, trade. Thanks, all. Thanks, guys. See you.